He humbled himself in the house of your girl Nene. How you guys doing today? Hope all is well. Um, had a good. Uh, uh, I think I messed my register up at work. I think I miscounted the money while I was uh, tending to a customer. So I'm not sure how that's gonna go when once the boss finds out. But <laughs> other than that, my day was blessed. I'm off tomorrow, so I'll be working on schoolwork tomorrow and getting prepared for the upcoming week. You know, since I work mainly on the weekends, you know, my my weekdays are the weekends for me. So, the I have Tuesday and Thursday off this week. So, I'll be preparing for the coming week, doing meal prep and, you know, making my lunches so that when I come home from work, all I have to do is cook dinner. I don't have to cook lunch. But, um, so, let's do fashion prayers. Yay! <laughs> I'm excited about today's fashion prayer. So, let me show you my outfit. It says, pray, manifest, hustle, thank God, repeat. Yeah. Pray. Can you see it there? Pray. Manifest, hustle, thank God, repeat. So we're going to go with the color, well, it's pink, but we're going to go with the shade blush again. Um, that's what God put in my spirit. I have on denim jeans and I have on a black boot. So, <laughs> we're going to go with blush for the pink, which means reverence. We're going to go with the actual color black, which means authority. And then we're going to go with... Denim, which means obedience. And for those who don't know, fashion prayers are a guideline that helps you pray according to the colors of a person's outfit. So each color has a different definition that comes from the Bible. And there's a scripture attached to it, which comes in the book, which I'm trying to gather funding for to get my book published. So um, I'm still in the process of finding a publisher, but uh, I'll get a specific price for you guys ASAP. I appreciate all donations or if you want to buy a prayer shawl, but let's get to the prayer. So the topic for today's prayer is once again, we're dealing with the LGBTQ community because that is on God's heart right now. That's what he is um, putting in my spirit to pray for. So the topic is reverence towards the father from the LGBTQ community instead of mockery. And the prayer is, dear sweet, sweet. Heavenly Father, I come before you on behalf of the LGBTQ community, asking that you teach them the importance of revering your name, showing them that obedience is what you require of them, and that they may walk in the authority of Christ with a newfound reverence towards you and your holy word, the Bible. Let the LGBTQ community not mock you, but instead let their this entire generation flock to you understanding what the bible says about homosexuality let them come forth with a change of heart towards the same-sex marriage laws and let your holy values and morals reign true so you know i'm excited about this prayer because it's it's intimate it i feel like this is on god's heart he wants people to know the importance of revering his name like He's holy, so he wants you to revere him, see him for the sacred being that he is. He's love, but he's not to be played around with. That's what I feel like today's prayer is, so I look forward to him answering this. So don't be surprised if you see people starting to in the LGBTQ community turn around and no longer mock um, Jesus, you know, that, um, um, you know, so if you want to help me get my book published, you can give a donation at Cash App. My Cash App is the Cash App, He Humbled Himself, or you can buy a prayer shawl 
is $75 and I crochet it. There's fringe on it. I'm still working on the pink and green one, y'all. I haven't forgotten about it. Just taking a little bit longer than expected since I'm working now. I can't work on it throughout all hours of the day like I used to. But, um, that's all I have for today. Be humble to stop checking out.